YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. So Wayne, the mic busted you in the mic. What happened, man? What happened? The mic busted you in the lip. I feel a little too wild out there. Oh, you just went in. Yeah. So. And just smacked yourself. Yeah, I'd be. Oh man, time. how you feel about that? I'm good. You didn't lose no diamonds. Let me get somebody to kiss it tonight. Oh my God. Oh, I, you I wouldn't know. Tilt? I'd be good, soldier. I'd be good. Nice to see you, fam. Man, I gotta keep playing the mic. I'm sorry. Oh, is that crazy for you? Yeah. I mean, I want to tell you what was inspiring for me, brother. You you ain't scared to rock out. I, I swear, man. I mean, you're not scared to rock out. No. And I wasn't disappointed because you know I'm hip hop. So, you yeah. know, I was, I was looking a little, could it be nervous for me yeah. out there? Nah, you go in. Yeah, I do my thing. I try, bro. Yeah. And it feels like, I don't know, man. It's just like hits, dog. You just be hitting people in the head. We try, Tim. I swear we do. And there's a nice feeling out there as well, man, in the, in the audience. That right there, the feeling is unexplainable. You can't, it's unbelievable. You can't, there's no word that matches the feeling. That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me going to where I can bust myself in my mouth Yo, and man, keep going. You just go <laughs> in like that. Yeah. I mean, like, it just, it didn't, it didn't feel like, in some parts it was mal like aggressive, and other parts you could just look around and like girls were just singing every single word, man, emotional. Guys too, yeah, man, it's, um... I put a lot into my show. I put a lot into my music anyway. I put a lot into my craft, and I think I think people see that and they appreciate it, and especially when they get to come out and see it. I mean, of course, they hear it, and they can, they can assume that this is real or this is not, but when they come out and see it and it's in front of them, it's a difference, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's like it's happening in front of them. So, yeah. When a Millie ripped in with a bass line, man, like my <laughs> fillings were falling out my teeth, my eyeballs were vibrating, I was getting confused. My criteria compared to your courageous is unfair. I'm a venereal disease, like a menstrual, clean through the pencil and leaf on the sheet of the tablet in my mind, cause I don't like sugar. <laughs> a Millie is crazy. I almost, every time that song dropped the crowd, Tonight and last night, they were singing it so loud, I couldn't hear the music. So I and I don't wear earpieces, so man, I was almost lost on that song. But I love it, man. I mean, I heard that song wasn't even set up to be something. It was just some throwaway. No, it was just a, yeah, it was just, just a, a song. A song I just want to go. I was like, you know what? The album was almost finished, and I was like, Taz, you know what? People like me for what I, what I do on these mixtapes. And I was like, you know, on these mixtapes, I usually just go from the beginning to the end. No hook, nothing. And and he was like, well, why don't you do one, last one like that for the album? And that last one was a Millie. Man. And that came from nowhere, man. And you were doing new joints. I'm not used to that, man. There was joints like, yo, what's this? Um... There was a couple of joints. To, yeah, sketchy. we try to, we try to mix them up. We try to throw a few up, a few of them in there, but not too many, though. Not too many. We yeah. try to keep it solid. Yeah. Yeah. Why the band, though? The band. The band is a necessity because I, keep, I still have the DJ. Yes. I still have the DJ. Four or five I, doing his thing. Yeah, I got to have the DJ. And um, But the band is a necessity because it it gives it gives the crowd a feeling. You know what I mean? It gives me a feeling, too, behind me. A different feeling from just the, the music. You know what I mean? Just the speakers and the, the DJ. Just It gives me a whole different feeling. I, it's soul. It's music. Mm. It's real music to me. And um honestly, that band that band makes the show a hundred percent better to me. I think you without with the band I can just actually act after a song or after a verse, I can actually put the mic down and go drink a drink a swig of water because the band is boom to the tone, I mean. So that right there is like I said, it makes the show 100% better. I don't ever want to go back out without a band. And that, that it's like a war, you know, a working relationship. You're not just stuck to where the record starts and where the record ends. It, it, like you're just jamming with it. Yeah, the band, and I, I, I actually never rehearsed with them. You never rehearsed? No. You never rehearsed with the band? I just trust them. I know my I know my songs. It's up to them to know the music. I don't have to rehearse. I know my raps. Yeah, oh so. man! Now I really respect the Union Jack sneakers. 
He was like, yeah, I thought you were paying attention. Yeah, that was the who. Yeah, I think you sneaked that in nicely, man. Yeah. And it was something like, you know, I, you know, I pay attention to what you're doing out there. That's what's up, too. A and Birdman coming out? Birdman, yeah, he comes out every show. Every show. You seem like happy to see him, bro. I ain't gonna front. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I actually don't see him the whole day. So I don't see him till he come out on stage. So that'd be my first time seeing him for the day. It, it felt like, yo, what's up? You know what I mean? Yeah, it didn't that, feel like he was, you know, he felt like, yo, what's up? Yeah, what's been really, that's what it was. It was like, what's up? How you been there? Yeah, yeah. No, that felt good. Felt good. Jay Mills, good or good. You know, you're making moves out there. You know what I mean? Making moves. Jay Mills, Jay Mills, a hardworking artist. You had gutter gutter out there, mm -hmm. hardworking artist. Usually, we have more out there. You had Chanel out there, too. Mac May, mm. but usually we have more out there, but you know, we out here and everybody yeah, else out there. Yeah, airline yeah. tickets, you know what I mean? From what I understand, you're doing things in threes. <laughs> uh, surprising me, you know, f f first three, Baby, Jay Sean, you know, um, uh, Malone, uh, but it's the second three, which I'm really paying attention to, my brother. And, you know, Young Money All Stars, mm -hmm. that's going to be incredibly powerful. Too powerful. And, but the double album, Doc? The double, the double album? album. The Card Afford, the Rebirth, it's like you're paying attention. Nah, they pushing for that. I ain't. What are you saying, Doc? I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't really trying to give them that like that. You don't want to give it like that? Uh uh. Nah, I think the card, nah, it won't be given like that. Trust me. You're fighting it. It won't be given like that because the Card Afford deserves the Card Afford. And that's that, and nothing else in this way. And the card of four is the defining moment in the game. It deserves to be respected as that. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, and the re rebirth, you know, it's got to come. The rebirth, may, the rebirth may come as a double with the Young Money All-Star disc. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it may be the Young Money All-Star and rebirth. Yeah. Now, the, the Young Money, man... Let me just really explain, you know, you, you hear the talk about the rebirth, the rock tracks are out there. And I was worried, I, Hip Hop 2009, Wayne's making a rock album, Kanye West is singing, it didn't feel good. But you're, you got the hottest things out there right now. Every girl, oh my God. Yeah. Well, see, that's what people got me wrong at. People, I don't want people to classify me, uh, to classify what I'm doing as rock and then look at rock and say, so he's going to do that. No, you look at rock and whatever, but then look at what Lil Wayne is and say, Lil Wayne is going to do something to that. That's how you look at that. Yeah. Don't look at it as that's rock and Wayne's going to do that. No, <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. I can tell you that up here. I know how to do me and I'm going to do me. So doing you when it comes to guitars and that, that that's what it is, man. Yeah, it's actually, um, I, I look at it like I bring a different side to the game with that. I look at it like I scare my competition with that. You know what I mean? Because they look, because when they, because my competition, when they see a show like this and they see, wait, he pulled the guitar and his son walked this way and the crowd was singing it back. Walk this way. And when they see, when my competition sees something like that, they're like, and then right when he finished, he went into Kush. And the whole crowd sung that. So what is he? And then right when he finished that, he sung, and I'm grinding. And the whole crowd sung with him and put up lighters. And, like, he's a real singer. So that's what I want my competition. I want my competition to be like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Just confused I mean? cats. Yeah. It's called a wildcat offense. The wildcat offense. You don't know what I'm going to do with the ball. You don't know who gets the ball. Wildcat. YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV.